Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie and today I'm back for something really exciting which is also very very spontaneous. I did not expect to be doing this today and I've actually been spending quite a bit of time at second hand shops recently. This is because, you know, with the whole COVID-19 pandemic, it's just, you know, there's not a lot of flea markets going around, or at least not here in Sweden. You know, we all have these sort of social distancing guidelines and, you know, it's just not happening. So for me, instead of running around to flea markets at this time of year, I started focusing on going to some second hand shops at least, or well, the ones that are actually open. So, you know, normally I don't find nearly as much cool stuff at second hand shops as I do at the flea markets. But today I found something really unexpected, which I thought was really, really exciting. I really want to show you this right away. So let's just jump into it. This is the Red Army Vodka Limited Edition Collector Set. Now I am currently without a reviewing table, so I'm gonna have to shoot this one on the floor. Hopefully it will still be okay, but uh, yeah. Like you can tell already, this is quite a large box set. And I thought I'd just get down on my knees here to hopefully be able to show you some of it in detail. And before we begin, I'm actually just going to move this a little bit just so I can sort of fit it into frame and actually flip this open. So for starters, you can tell that, I mean, the entire box is just a really, really heavy, solid wooden box. And I just saw this at the secondhand shop and was like, holy shit. It's just a really, really well-made, well-crafted box. And I mean, I've been looking at some of these things on eBay and places like that before. But I mean, I've never seen one in the flesh, so to speak. So I was really, really excited to actually see this and just sort of realize like, Okay, this is really, really good quality. Now, I thought we would just look at some of the items in here. And one of the first things was this, which I thought was quite cool. And this is a little Red Army Vodka dog tag. And as you can see, it does have a small sort of little stamped metal numbering on it. Now, I have no idea what this actually signifies, whether it's like a limitation of some sort, some sort of serial number. But this apparently comes with, I think, all of these sets. I don't have, like, a whole lot of info on this, I gotta say. But from what I can see and checking these online, it seems like the rough value, if you're buying one of these new, is basically around 150 euros. That's usually what they go for. That obviously includes a whole lot of vodka. I mean, you get the full rifle worth of vodka, and you also get some liquor in this little hand grenade bottle, which I will also show you. Now, I thought we would just start by looking at the actual glass rifle. Actually, it's an AK-47 from what I can tell, and uh, just holding this up, here we got a sticker, which is on the box, so this is not printed on glass, it is a sticker, and by moving close, you can probably pick up some of the details on this. So it's a 40% vodka. And flipping over to the other side, you got the exact same design on the sticker there. And this says produced by Bartex. And I'm not entirely sure about like where these are sold. But based on this little sticker, it says bartex.com.pl, which would indicate a Polish website. So from what I can tell, this is actually a Polish product. And you can also see this little sticker at the bottom of the rifle. But yeah, in any case, this looks to be in quite good shape. And you can actually hold it like a rifle. The handle is quite small, but you can definitely hold it if you want to. The only thing I'm not crazy about with this is actually the front here, because I think I'm actually missing a cork on this. I mean, you can see that this has a cork, but I'm quite sure that this is actually unrelated. You can see that this says McManus. I don't know if you're picking up on that. So yeah, this is certainly not a cork for this bottle. I believe the cork that should come with it is actually like a twist off. At least that's what I've been seeing in most of the images I've found online. So yeah, seems to be missing the cork, which is a shame because I think the cork will also be this specifically designed cork. A regular twist off, but it would also have like the small metal or plastic clasp around it and then a sort of 
elongated part which makes it look sort of like a sight for the gun. So really shame that I'm missing that but apart from that it looks like the box is complete. So I thought we would set this down on the side for now and then just go ahead and look in a little bit more detail on this hand grenade. And this was apparently containing some sweet sort of liquor. Just check the little sticker there, 40% as well, and nothing on the other side. And there's just a somewhat detailed look at the bottom, in case you can make that out. That's the sticker there as well. So from what I can tell, you know, the cork for the rifle would have been something very much like this. Simple black cork. <laughs> just want to smell that. Still has a very sort of sweet smell. Not exactly sure what was in this one originally, but based on the photos I've seen, it seems to be a darker kind of liquor in this. So not really vodka, but I mean, I can't really decipher this foreign sticker, but regardless of which, it's a ridiculously cool little canister or glass bottle, which, I don't know, definitely looks like a hand grenade. So yeah, this is really, really fun gimmick, I think. Then I thought we would also check these little shot glasses, which you saw me put away before. There's six of them and they are completely identical. And here you can see they are also branded with Red Army Vodka. So they are very much, you know, designed for this specific box. That so makes it feel somewhat exclusive. And I thought maybe we would actually take a slightly closer look at this. If I'm able to lift it up because this is actually surprisingly heavy. It is a surprisingly solid and well-made wooden box. But here you can see a little bit of the interior. And I mean, it's all green, very sort of hard wooden, actually heavy wood. I was actually trying to haul this back from the second hand shop. And I had to change hands every now and then because it's just a surprisingly heavy box. And I mean, the glass bottles and all the glass is obviously also a big add-on in terms of weight but trying to show you some more detail on this i'm actually going to use my leg there just to get a bit of a load off on the weight but here you can see the handle here you got the clasps it's all actually really really heavy duty there is some sticker residue here which i'm sure i can peel off and from what i can tell you know this was like the title of the box i think and from what i've seen online it seems like this is commonly known as like the Red Army Vodka sort of gift set. So if you just search for Red Army Vodka gift set, I'm pretty sure you will be able to find better pictures of this or just generally more info. But yeah, that is basically it for the exterior box. So I'm gonna set that back down. And I mean, looking at this, I was really, really ecstatic. I wasn't really sure what to think in terms of like how much value was in this but i have essentially been looking for a box set like this because i think it's just you know it's just a very very fun gimmick i'm very much a fan of these sort of novelty designed vintage liquor bottles when it comes to like these really extravagant sort of bizarre sets i mean the whole Red Army concept seems to be very broad. There's actually quite a few sort of variations on this. And you will also find things like, you know, bottles which are designed like rockets. And it's just a whole sort of subculture, it would seem. So, I mean, if you're getting into collecting stuff like this, you will probably find pretty quickly that there's just a whole bunch of stuff out there which you can actually, you know, collect if you want to make a whole sort of array of different items. But yeah, that is basically it for this box. So I'm just gonna close the lid on this, literally, and just clasp this up. But I mean, in the end, I think my only real concern with this box set is basically the missing cork, which is you know the only original part which doesn't seem to be in here, and maybe the fact that this you know sort of cover sticker is a little bit worn and sort of coming up at the seams. But apart from that, it's an absolutely amazing item. I'm so happy that I was able to pick this up. But in any case, I guess that's it for this video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, hope to see you all next time.